who clash over whether Iran deal is good for Israel. In Ramallah, Jimmy Carter calls for Palestinian elections. IDF rescue teams head back to Israel from Nepal. And British pop sensation performs in Tel Aviv. Shalom and welcome to the Jerusalem Post News. Here are the top stories for May 3rd. Sparring between Jerusalem and Washington over the Iran nuclear deal continued this weekend, with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu saying in a recorded message to the Washington Institute for Near East Policy that the deal endangers Israel. Now there are those who say that the Lausanne framework will make Israel safer. As the Prime Minister of Israel, I can tell you categorically, this deal will endanger Israel, big time. But it's not just Israel that will be endangered. The Middle East and the entire world will be threatened. A better deal is necessary. A better deal is possible. A better deal must and can be achieved. But if not, no deal is better than this bad deal. Kerry, in an excerpt of a Channel 10 interview that is to air in full tonight, said there was a lot of hysteria about the deal in Israel and that people need to, quote, look at the facts and the science behind the facts. Kerry reiterated that U.S. President Barack Obama had pledged that Iran will not get a nuclear weapon and said he believes the emerging deal would in fact protect Israel. Former U.S. President Jimmy Carter met in Ramallah on Saturday with Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas. Carter called for elections in the Palestinian territories, saying it would be an important step for the Palestinians. He praised the current PA leadership for its wisdom, saying he came to Ramallah to represent the dreams and aspirations of the Palestinians. Meanwhile, he slammed Netanyahu, charging that he does not want a two-state solution. Abbas, for his part, complained that Israel was failing to abide by international resolutions pertaining to the Arab-Israeli conflict. A flight carrying IDF rescue teams and some 30 Israeli travelers departed from Nepal today and headed back to Israel. Israeli rescue teams departed hours after an earthquake struck Nepal on April 25th, causing widespread damage and killing more than 7,000 people. Over 250 doctors and rescue personnel worked around the clock to locate, treat and ensure the safety of Israelis and others. Members of the Home Front Command and Nepalese military were conducting searches for one remaining Israeli, 22-year-old or Asraf. And British pop star Robbie Williams performed 40,000 fans at Tel Aviv's Park Hayakon last night. Williams opened his set wearing a pair of devil horns and donned a kilt for the second half of the show. Playlist included 1997 hit Let Me Entertain You, Better Man, Rock DJ, No Regrets, and Bodies. Stubbing efforts by the BDS movement for him to cancel his show, the 41 year old singer professed his love for Israel and told the crowd he had always wanted to visit the country. And that's it for today. We'll be back tomorrow with more news from Israel. Until then, Shalom from the Jerusalem Post Studios.